Linda with EUR Web. Guys, I'm obsessed with this show already. I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, the male perspective on this show. So I'll start with you, David. How is it filming with a predominantly female cast? The same. Uh, you know, I, I think for a long time, women, women haven't had opportunities to, to step into leadership roles and step into creative roles. Uh, and I think in the last, you know, 10, 10, 15 years, it's gotten, um, I wouldn't say easier, but I would say a, a little, um, a little more, they just have more opportunities and it's, it's the same. I mean, I, I if you're good at what you do, it, it doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter if you're a woman or, or a man or or, or whatever ethnicity you are, if you're good, you're good. So it was, it was great. It was refreshing. Like, um, you know, I, not that I had any fears, but it, I just, it wasn't something where I'd been surrounded by women uh, that much, except like high school football. When I scored all the touchdowns, I was surrounded of by course. women, but, um, <laughs> uh, uh, but yeah, this is uh, it's, it, it was, it was, it was great. It was, uh, you know, I would like to say that they were more nurturing or they were more, they were focused more on the emotions, but that just wasn't the case. They were good at what they did and they provided a great environment for us to do what we do. Yeah. Now, Troy, your character, um, FBI agent Young, seemed to have a little bit more compassion than anyone else in this. Pick that up, huh? <laughs> um, can we talk a little bit about your character and also why you decided to get involved with this project? Um, you know, it was it was surprising to see Young's development later on in the, in, in the series. And at first, we kind of didn't have a full understanding on where this character was going, so it was it was fun to see the development. Um, and I kind of drew that because I'm, you know, I'm a parent. So it's, it's, it's not easy being a parent, but you kind of have to find those avenues and those, those resources to try to put your best foot forward. So I, I, I came into this with that in mind. And especially once I saw how they want to take Young's character. Mm -hmm. So I, I drew from that. So it's, it was, it was welcoming because in, you know, um, in, in, in Hollywood, you kind of get pigeonholed. So, I, you know, I've done the FBI stuff. I've done the cop stuff. I've done this. But it was so direct. It was so straight line. You know what I mean? So it was just like, you know, the stern cop, stern dude. Uh, but now I, I kind of get to play a little bit. I kind of get to play. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? So it, yeah. it, it, it was surprising, but it was so welcoming because now I get a chance to explore. Now, now I get to explore. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I love that. Now, David, I binge watched this. So I was literally doing not work and just watching TV for two days straight. Um, I'm already thinking of season two because I don't want to wreck it for our viewers, but that ending, I'm mad at y'all. Why? <laughs> that's, part, that's part of storytelling though. And also you were doing work. Watching TV is work. Like watching TV is a part of your creative journey. So give yourself some credit there. <laughs> like when I sit down in front of the TV and I'll, I'll, I'll binge something for six or seven hours, it's like, I feel good because I'm doing research. Girl, you were doing research. I was. I was preparing yeah. for this interview. So I'll give myself that. I'll yeah. Myself. Yeah. And that's, I mean, when you have a story that, that really propels you to sit in front of the TV for 10 hours, like that means, man, man, that's good storytelling. It's so, really and the fact story. that you didn't like me and at some point you did, again, that's, that's great writing. It wasn't, it wasn't necessarily something that I did as an actor that made you think, oh, that guy's really an asshole. It's like, oh, it's in the writing. It's in the, it's in the story that these, that these writers have created. And I, I get to go along with the, the journey as well and be like, well, you know, when I, when I watched it, I was like, dang, I don't really like me that much either. So yeah, it was, it, it's, it's just a testament to good storytelling. David, I never liked your character the whole 10 hours. <laughs> <laughs> um, are we going to see Troy season two? Do we know yet? That's, um, that's left to be told. Um, you know, it's, it's going to be interesting to see what comes across the table. Um, I believe um, the writers have an idea of what direction they want to take my character in. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm ready to explore that with them. Um, they've done a hell of a job so far. So, you know, I, all, all, all trust is with them, you know, so I'm, I'm just ready to explore and, and, and do some good work. Yeah, I think I think we've created something pretty special. And yeah. I think if, if Amazon uh, is able to recognize what it is that we've done, I, I'm, I'm pretty confident we'll get a second season because it is so compelling and it is such a, a, a great voice and a great time for storytelling like this. It's, it's so amazing. We get another season. 
yeah, yeah. it's amazing it, it with all the tv that's around there it really stands out so i wish you guys all the best your season premiere and thank you for spending some time with me thanks linda Bye. Thanks, guys. Bye -bye.